Okay, you're live. Perfect. Okay. We are going to be dissecting a frog finally today, grade eights. We've got two here. I'm going to start with this frog um, as it has not been opened up already. So as we look at the frog, we'll start with the external anatomy. If you look at the top view of a frog, that's known as the dorsal view, and the underside is the ventral view. We're going to be doing our dissection on the ventral side, but before we do that, let's have a look at some of the parts of this frog. So one of the really cool things about a frog is that their tongue is connected at the front of their mouth. Ours are connected at the back, but a tongue's frog is connected right here so that it can flip out so it can catch flies or different things that it's going to eat. So kind of interesting. It flips back in. Oh, hang on. Do that again. Oh, wait. I got no focus. I'm having trouble focusing. <laughs> uh, focus. Manual. Okay, sorry. Okay, sorry. So the tongue, frog's tongue is connected at the front of its mouth rather than the back like a human's, and that allows the frog's tongue to flip out and catch its food and then retract back in so it can eat it. Also, you'll notice here that the frog's eyes are at the front and they've got like a coating over them, and then these circles back here are known as the tympanic membrane, and that has to do with hearing. We've also got a frog and a, and a duck. <laughs> so these are the tympanic membrane and that has to help with hearing. And then at the front, these are little nares and that is for like its nose. Um, another neat thing about a frog is you can tell whether it's male or female based on its thumbs. So this little frog over here has very small thumbs. They're not enlarged, but this frog has an enlarged thumb, which means that it is a male frog. do this. Let's get a spray. To do a dissection of a frog, we're going to make three main incisions. We're going to make a vertical, I guess it's horizontal to you, but an incision from the top to the bottom here, and then one across the shoulders and another across the hips. Juicy. Mm -hmm. Taster. You want some paper towels? Maybe. I just have to get through this words. You watch, I'm going to open this up and it's going to be a, a female. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
the frog has been opened. We study a frog's digestive system because it's very similar to a human's. It has some of the same organs and it follows the same path. Obviously the size is different and the way that things are processed in a frog is different than a human, but it allows us to see where the organs are located. So now that we've got this frog opened up, up here at the top is where we would find the heart. Okay, this large, there's the heart, this large um, organ right here is its liver and there are three different lobes to it. If we were to look underneath, Turn this way we turn here. the whole thing sideways, maybe? Yeah. yeah. Can we start again? Nope. Okay. So underneath the liver, we've got the stomach right here, which connects to the small intestine. And I'll continue to travel along. And underneath that, we can see that, I'll move these fat bodies out of the way, that eventually connects to our large intestine, and then it would exit the frog. I'm gonna move these, actually I'm gonna remove these fat bodies actually, get them out of the way. What do those do? We don't have those, do we? I don't know what they do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I can't remember. We'll just cut that. They're just fat. <laughs> to keep it warm. Perfect. Okay, we don't have those, right? <laughs> I, I, I don't think not. so. It's garbage? No. scientific. Okay, and then towards the back, if we flip this up again, we can see here it's deflated, but this is one of the frog's lungs. And on this side, we also have a the other lung for the frog. So just like a human, We've got heart, liver, lungs, stomach, small intestine, and large intestine. We could also find towards the back the kidneys. And if I was to be able to remove some of these further along the spine, you would be able to find the gallbladder. Um, you could also find the pancreas, spleen, and other organs that are very similar to that of a human. <laughs> Look at that though. Like, oh. Quite muscly. Yeah, they have to be little swimmers. Boop. You got that face. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to go up into this because I don't know any more than that. <laughs> but yeah, sweet. Awesome. What's that? That's viral. a lung. Oh, that's a lung right yeah. there. Viral. Isn't that cool? Oh. Are you going to blow up his lungs? Mouth to mouth? Like, they seem so much bigger than what I remember. Like, of course, the side. Yeah. Like this little dude's lung is right there. Tiny. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just thinking of my morning. I'm not gonna tell you. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see, Miss Mirror had has removed the liver. We have, and it gives us a better shot of the stomach the small intestine and large intestine. The heart is up here, which I'm going to remove. And then we've got our stomach connection here. I'm gonna open up the stomach and see if we can tell what it's been eating. Oh. 
Hmm. Just what's in there, Miss Muirhead? Some decomposed things, De mm. digested. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Tasty. Okay, then we have our small intestine, large intestine, and then. so cool like see all like the little vessels and stuff inside and it's like actually a sack yeah actually would fill with air yeah very neat wow. frog lung mm back here we can see one of the kidneys and then on the opposite side there's another kidney tucked in here and then underneath our intestines kind of tucked in behind there's like a gallbladder which is kind of like a little raisin over here cool nice and there we have it a frog dissection woohoo hope you enjoyed grade eights